Hello students, my name is Shraddha Tone from Computer Engineering Department. Now in this lecture, we will see the different criteria, then features, applications of microcontrollers, and lastly, the difference between microprocessor and microcontrollers. Let's start with the criteria for microcontrollers. So here we will see what are the different criteria for selecting the microcontroller. Criteria that designer should consider in uh, choosing the microcontrollers that are first is it should satisfy the computing needs of the task efficiently and cost effectively. Second criteria is it should also satisfy the speed requirements, then packaging format, RAM, ROM, capacity, number of input-output pins, on-chip timers, and power consumption needs of the applications. Then third criteria that we can uh, consider, availability of software development tools, such as compilers, assemblers, and the debuggers. The next criteria that availability in needed quantities, both now and in the future. And the last criteria that we can choose is its ability to upgrade to a higher performance or lower power consumption versions. The next is, what are the different features of 8051 microcontroller? The 8051 is an 8-bit microcontroller designed by Intel. And it was optimized for 8-bit math and single bit boolean operations. So its family includes 8031, 8051, 8052 and 8751 microcontrollers. So let's see the features of 8051 microcontroller. So the features of microcontroller are first one is 4069 byte on-chip program memory, second 128 byte on-chip data memory, next is four register banks, then 128 user defined software flags. Fifth one is 64 kilobytes each program and external RAM addressability. Sixth one is one microsecond instruction cycle with 12 megahertz crystal. Then next feature is 32 bidirectional input output lines organized as four 8 bit ports. Then eight one is multiple mode high speed programmable serial port. Then number nine, two multiple mode, 16 bit timers or counters. The next feature is two level prioritized interrupt structure. Then next feature is direct byte and bit addressability. After that, binary or decimal arithmetic. Then sign overflow detection and parity computation. Then integrated Boolean processor for control applications. And the last feature, we can say that upwardly compatible with existing 8084 softwares. So all these are the features of 8051 microcontroller. Now let's see what are the applications of microcontroller. So microcontroller are preferred in embedded products. And some applications of microcontrollers are given here. For example, home appliances where washing machine in refrigerator, micro oven, etc. In these devices, you can use the microcontroller. Next application, we can say that calculator, keyboards, printers, modems, mobile phones, etc. Then industrial controllers, then data acquisition system, in communication system also microcontrollers are used. Then in automobile engine, flight control systems, then traffic light control systems, after that, in multi military applications also, microcontrollers are used. So all these are the areas where we can say that the microcontrollers are used. Now the last one is, we will see the comparison between microprocessors and microcontrollers. So here the parameter is mentioned, the microprocessor and microcontroller. Based on this parameter, what is the difference between microprocessor and controller? We will see. First one is the definition. So microprocessor can be understood as the heart of a computer system. 
and microcontroller can be understood as the heart of an embedded system. Means we can say that microprocessor contains ALU, general purpose register, stack pointer, program counter, clock timing circuits, and interrupt circuits. And microcontroller, this contains the circuitry of microprocessor. And in addition, it has built-in ROM, RAM, input-output devices, timers, and counters. Then what is it? Means microprocessor is a processor where the memory and input output components are connected externally. And the microcontroller is a controlling devices wherein the memory and input output components are present internally. Then circuit complexity, the processor circuit complex due to external connections and in microcontrollers that are present on chip memory, the circuit is less complex. Then memory and input output components. The memory and input output components are to be connected externally in microprocessor and memory and input output components are available already in a microcontroller. Then compact system compatibility. So the microprocessor can't be used in a compact system and here microcontrollers can be used in a compact system. Next parameter is efficiency. So based on efficiency, we can say that microprocessor are not that much efficient and the microcontrollers are efficient. Then zero status flag. So microprocessor have a zero status flag and microcontroller does not have a zero status flag. Then if you consider the number of register parameter, then processor have less number of registers and the microcontrollers have more number of registers. We can say that also a uh, microprocessor has many instructions to move the data between memory and CPU and a microcontroller has one or two instructions to move the data between memory and CPU. So uh, we can say it has uh, means microprocessor has one or two bit handling instructions and a microcontroller has many bit handling instructions. So this microprocessor, lastly, we can say that uh, is based or base system is more flexible in designing point of view. And this microcontroller is less flexible in design point of view. So here the last point is the applications. So microprocessors are generally used in personal computer and microcontrollers are generally used in washing machine and air conditioners, etc. So all about this uh, comparison between the microprocessor and microcontroller. Thank you.